I was eight years old when I was first called uh, fat by the school nurse and she told my mom to be very, very careful because I was about to get really fat and it was really dangerous and awful. Eating in front of people was terrifying for years. For you, and, you, and people will look, people will look, people will judge, people will... The word fat, for me, it's a descriptive word, it's a neutrally descriptive word, like I'm a brunette, I have brown eyes, I'm relatively tall, I'm fat, this is part of, part of the many words that describe me. So for, in that aspect, fat is just a descriptive word, but on the other hand, fat is also a word that I used to hate, I used to fear, I fear, fear more than hate. I was terrified of hearing the word. If you just heard someone utter it somewhere, you'd go into this, they're talking about me and it's about how I'm not worth anything. So fat was an equal, unworthy, lazy, stupid, unattractive. Uh, so the word fat has now, I've reclaimed it or I've taken it. Say no, it means it means what it means that there is fat on my body. Gonna break you down. Gonna tie your tongue. To hit the ground. To hit the ground. I feel the most confident on stage. I'm home on stage, that's my thing. I'm a comedian, my whole life is comedy and about being on stage. So I'm on stage I'm the most confident I'm. Because I'm doing the thing that I love, the thing that I'm really good at. It's just one of those things that I never thought would happen. <laughs> it's just weird. It's just, it, feels, it feels like being led into a, a little club of where you're not supposed to be a member, but then someone's opened the door for you. And you go, oh, I guess I'll just wiggle into <laughs> this members only room. I think my thighs. My thighs have always been my favorite bit, I think. Sometimes, sometimes I have to tell myself now, you know, feel your body, you know, be. You know, health is, mental health is as important as health, physical health. It's about eating what you feel like eating. You know, stop when you're full. You know, eat whatever you want, whatever feels good, whatever tastes good. I got this. We need to kill the shame because that's the worst part. We're taught to be so ashamed, and it's that shame is just so deep. It's so harsh, it's the worst thing. And that's what we need to get rid of and make sure people know that they shouldn't be ashamed. Because as soon as they get rid of shame, we're indestructible. <laughs>